Hello and welcome to this Unity Beginners tutorial. What we're going to look at today is just creating a simple C Sharp script to change the colour of an object. So the first thing to do is create yourself a new project and when you do you should just come up with a scene like this, just a simple main camera. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new game object first of all, so go up to game object, create other and choose terrain. So we've got ourselves a basic terrain. The next component, if you go back to game object, create other, we're just going to choose directional light. The main reason for this is just so it puts a light across the whole scene so we can see what's happening. And the next object we'll create is just a simple capsule. What you want to do is just position that on your screen so you can see it. I'm just going to move it around here. So it should be just in front of the camera. I'll just click on play just to check. Excellent. So we've just got a simple capture on the screen. It doesn't do anything fancy. We'll get to that in later tutorials. What we're going to do now is create a new C Sharp script. So in your assets, just right click, choose create and C Sharp script. And we'll just call this color. So all we're going to do is change the color based on a key press. Once you've created it, double click. Hopefully that will open up in your application. Mine's Mono Develop. And what we've got here is just the very basic layout of the script. We're going to use the void update this time. So this is called once per frame in your game. And it's in here that will create our first piece of code. So just between the brackets here, press enter to make a bit of space. Start by typing it, the if. So we're going to create a very simple if statement. If statements just check what you're doing. So if you do something, do this. If you do something else, do that, and so on. So what we're going to check here is if the input key, so input dot get key down open brackets, we'll go for key code dot r, so the letter r. We just need to close off our brackets. Best thing in this program is you can see you're closing off your brackets, so I can see I need to put another one in to close this last one off here. Brilliant. I'm just going to press enter, open up some curly brackets. So just down here I'm going to type in game object dot renderer dot material dot color equals color dot red make that a lowercase g so what we've got there is just a simple piece of code don't forget to close down your curly brace there it will check if we press the R key on the keyboard and it will change the game object's renderer material color to red. And we're using game object here because we're going to attach this script to the actual game object that we want to change color. So we don't need to name it or specify, we just call it game object. And what you need to do then is come down a couple of lines and you can actually just copy this code here and paste it back in. And this time we'll change the color to G, the key code to G, and the color to green. There's lots of colors available, you can choose any you like, and you can make as many as you like there. Now we're just going to save that script. So you either go up to the file menu and save, or Control S or Command S, depending on Mac or PC. Then we're just going to switch back to Unity. So we've got our script down here called color, and we've got our capsule. So in our capsule, we've got this add component. We're just going to drag the C Sharp script over here, and you'll see a little plus come up, and we'll drop it. And as you can see, the color script has now been added to the capsule. So let's click on play. And now, if we press the R key, the capsule will turn red. If we press G, it will turn green. 
and backwards and forwards as you like. So you can press it as many times as you like. Obviously it's going to change colour each time. It's a very simple little introduction to creating an if statement and affecting the renderer material of an object. In later tutorials we'll explore this more and we'll explore in more detail different features of the game. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.